Hello and a very warm welcome back to episode 5 of the Valley of the Old Farm with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm and the Vintage series. We are into October, we've um, gone forwards a little bit. Uh, yesterday was not a busy day, we've got the, we've got some animals fed, things like that, and um, yeah, we've got... Um, the ploughing contract finish that we had started last episode and I then went on and did another two ploughing contracts. The contracts were over on uh, field 6 which is quite small, field 41 which was a lot larger um, and then obviously we had field 60 which was the one we, were, we started last episode. Um, I also then did a baling contract on field 47 so over there just now is our fent and um, our remaining bales from that contract because it is now complete and um, so our money's at 65,000 euros and um, it's kind of been going up and down all the time but um, main reason it's been going down is the fees from that fent so we're going to have to look at changing that at some point I think um, I've got the sheep down here, we've got some bales of straw and I've also got some, um, in the trailer here I've also got some seed and fertiliser. So the straw is going to be for our garden plot behind the house and the fertiliser and seed are for the our new uh, garden vegetable plot. Um, which incidentally is producing a fair bit of sugar already which is fantastic. So we'll get this stuff down to the farm and get it unloaded and uh, get it into where it needs to be but then what we need to do uh, today is uh, obviously need to go and collect up those bales with the vent and um, so we'll go and get them get them put into storage. Um, the f alfalfa is has gone on a growth stage so we're going to fertilize that and then what I want to do today is um, create some sort of mill for um, putting grain and oil in because the sunflowers are not going to be far off ready soon um, and when we do we need to get them put into storage or put into something um, and making oil seems to make sense. Now there is the in-game oil mill, um, but I was just thinking about this. Um, a lot of the production buildings on this map are fairly modern. So I think, yeah, what I'm going to try and do, if, where I can, is find older um, vintage models, uh, vintage buildings, if I can. Um, and then there's plenty of spare plots around the map here. So yeah we can then use them for uh, uh, putting on these new production buildings. Had a bit of a tidy up around the, the yard um, I've fed the chickens already this morning and I realized something when I was tidying up obviously the uh, black sheep modern have put in bale storage here so we've got bale and pallet storage bale and pallet storage 500 bales or pallets and I realised, oh, there's bales in here. So I went up here, and the bales that were missing out of that uh, Mercedes trailer right on episode one, <laughs> it had jumped into here, so we did have them all along. But not to worry, not to worry. So, so I've topped up the, the straw over there as well. So what we'll do, we'll... Um, if this works I might be able to just drive in there we go so I'll put them in there and then this stuff needs to come out over here so as you can see we have a fair bit of sugar so on here we've got 369, 10,000 litres of sugar uh, uh, sugar beet already so that's quite handy so let's get this open oh I always do this wrong 
Uh, and yeah, as I said, don't think these go in like this. We'll need to. Um, I'll need to transfer them into something and then in again. So what we'll do, um, I'll get the trailer out later and I'll I'll put them them in. So over here, and a wee test just to see if it works. So um, I've got the Zito. Oh, let's just go back a little bit. So I'll get this done next. Sheep are doing well, uh, they're still well fed and they're just wandering around. We have our first little bit of wool already uh, grown. Uh, grown. Our first sheep have been sheared. So yeah, we have a, a little bit of wool already. And I have some melon already from our garden plot as well. So things are started to work. It's good. This, on the other hand, is really tricky to see where you've been, so we'll do our best. So I hope everyone's well. We've um, got a little bit more time on my hands as far as recording because of uh, our organic root challenge finishing. So. Um, Finally finished the challenge. 353 hours on the map, um, so <laughs> fair bit of time. Um, but yeah, so that has obviously come to an end. So I can now concentrate on this series a little bit more. Um, and the plan also is to bring in uh, a new series. So we're going to bring in um, Car Simulator, Car Mechanic. Some sorry. Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, uh, which has just recently come out on Game Pass and on console. Um, so I thought let's let's mix it up. Let's do something different because yeah, my channel has been growing lovely um, and been fantastic. But at the same time, uh, it's all been Farming Simulator, and yeah, a rest is as good as a, a break. As the phrase go, the break is as good as the rest, as they say. So I'm just going to concentrate on this series for a little bit, and then we're going to bring in a bit of Car Mechanic Simulator as well. Um, and some are coming up as well. Um, I've got um, going to be away quite a bit, so I need to. Um, so I'll probably stockpile a few episodes of Car Mechanic Simulator for when I'm away um, and then you guys will still have some content um, even though I'm not not about um, but yes uh, I'm looking forward to playing it um, those that have played it maybe <laughs> you'll be able to give me some top tips because uh, once again I'll probably blunder my way through it but we'll, we'll see how we get on So I think what I'll do is uh, I will, um, once this is done, we'll, um, we'll then sort out the bales. Uh, we'll go and get the fence down. And then what I need to do, um, I'll need to find a couple of pigeons. Now, when I say I need to find, I have found all the pigeons now. I've been looking around off screen. Um, some of them are really hard to find, and some of them um, are definitely hiding in plain sight. It's quite funny. There we go. Oh, right. That was there all along. So there's two I'm going to pick up today. One um, is on the farm here, and the other one is somewhere else. So we'll go and do that in a bit. And uh, yeah, that will give us the funding to create our grain mill. So I'll get the thresh of this alfalfa sprayed and uh, yeah we'll see you probably back here with the fent and the bales. Right then, so we have got the this field fertilised and uh, that's all done. What I was going to do is just have a look at this um, 40,000 to buy that 
or there's a plot up here it's 26 plus let's have a look uh, factories 36 here we go plus 26 plus 23 is 43 49 but this also does olive oil sunflower oil canola oil and pig food so this might be, uh, and flour so that this is going to do two jobs in one um, so I think what we'll do we're going to leave this um, it may get purchased at some other point um, if we want to make um, grape oil and things like that but for now let's let's get ourselves a pigeon so this is a slightly dodgy manoeuvre but there is a pigeon up here somewhere so oh that's close scan I know that's not very realistic I apologise uh, get that off there and then it's up here somewhere oh. this ladder is so unruly right let's try again there we go there he is look Get at it, that's the question. Okay. Down the ladder we go. Right, so that's that. Like I said, we're gonna get another pigeon today as well. And um I think ooh. Put that back on there. Oh dear, it's all going wrong. God, it's not easy. Not easy being very clumsy with the ladder. Okay, right. Strap that on. I'll do. So let's get out of here. We'll go and get our fent, which is just around the corner here, and then yeah, we'll get across and we'll maybe purchase that plot and. Um, get ourselves a mill built yeah so this was a field we uh, we uh, bailed up and as you can see we've got seven bales left on the tractor here so what I'll do is I'll get this down and I'll get the tractor down and uh, yeah we'll see you up by um, the plot up here plot 125 um, and yeah we'll look at uh, yeah getting a uh, getting our mill built. Right, get this stuff back to the farm first I think. Right. Brilliant. So we're in the fent, I've dropped the bales off at the farm, the jeep is back at the farm as well and we're up near the biogas plant. So I have a, our trailer on the back here, we've got 4,284 litres of canola in here uh, in preparation for putting in our mill uh, the mill obviously takes canola and we can make some canola oil and that's the, the most um, crop we've got in the uh, our silo just now left over from um, contracts. So the reason I'm just stopping here is I'm going to get that second pigeon. So if I come up this way and up the ladder here uh, oop. Uh, over the top here there it is You're sitting nicely there there we go brilliant a lot of these uh, I accidentally found this one um, I was just uh, I actually went into the build menu just to, to see if I could um, build on s and stuff around here and uh, 
yeah, just thought I'd have a look around and yeah, there it was, so pretty handy. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's purchase the plot. The plot is just over here. It is quite hilly, um, but at the same time I think we will be able to plant, uh, put something on there. And the bottom section here is quite flat and actually <coughs> it's quite a cool little plot actually. I quite like it. Um, and generally windmills are on the top of hills because it's windy. <laughs> it does have a little stream here as well which, uh, which is quite cool as well. So I think yeah, we'll move out of the way so we don't uh, get in the way. Uh, and oh wrong one and we'll purchase this plot. So up here. So twenty six thousand five hundred fifty three. Perfect. And then we'll do some landscaping. So I think I'll set up a bit of a time lapse to get this done. Um there's a fair few trees on here actually, so I think the mill will probably be somewhere around here. Maybe here actually. Yeah. We'll see how it goes for, for landscaping and cost and stuff like that, but we should be able to fit it in and then uh, I'll naturally get some some tracking and things like that. Maybe a little shed, we'll see. But uh, yeah, we'll see in a few minutes and we'll just get some tunes on and hopefully you enjoy the wee little time lapse. Right, let's get in here. So I think what we'll have to do, we'll have to do a little bit of a manoeuvre in here. Hopefully we've got the space. It's definitely, I've built this in mind for smaller equipment. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, there is definitely not much space, but uh, it's kind of worked. So, we'll get this in here. Oh, that's a bit bumpy. this around here there we go nice so I definitely need a smaller vehicle for this oh, I need to open the grate on this I think that's what I need to do there we go so I'll get this in here that in there. <coughs> and then, yeah, we'll get this turned on and hopefully... Ooh. So, as you can see, we have wheat flour, wheat barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, 
corn pig food, um, sorghum pig food and potato pig food. So yeah, quite a lot of options. And then outgoing materials, yeah, obviously all in there. So yeah, quite a cool um, selection of stuff. What are soybeans used for actually? Ah, it's for the potatoes pig food. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So let's get canola oil activated, and uh, yeah, see how we go on. It's 3,600 cycles per month, so it's not that fast, but it will it will chug along. It will do a thing, and uh, yeah, look at that. It's a moving. Fantastic. Pretty close to the tractor there, actually. <laughs> right. Let's uh, leave that to it. I do have a drive in and out of this, but um, this will do as that'll do for now. I did a, a little uh, ford across the little stream as well, which, uh, which will uh, help sort of get us in a bit of a circuit round it rather than doing that funny manoeuvre I just did. So. 111,000 in the bank still. I think I'm going to spend some more money. What we'll do, we'll go and get back to the farm. Um, and I think what we'll do, we'll put more chickens in. So what I might do just now is I'll just nip along here. We'll get a... Uh, I might purchase some more grain um, for the chickens. And then, yeah, we'll see you back at the farm. And uh, yeah, we'll get uh, another chicken coop or chicken pasture in... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> oh dear. I'll get another chicken pasture installed. In fact, while we're here, this is the sugar mill, isn't it? How much is this to buy? 80. Alright. That'll be the next one. I think that's the next one on the hit list. Right then, 10,000 litres of barley in here, and yeah, that'll keep the chuk chucks going for a while. So we'll get down here and yeah, we'll uh, put in our new chicken pasture. I'm going to go for the Foo Farmer one, I think. Um, holds quite a lot of chickens and um, quite a nice roaming area for it as well, so kind of makes sense. I've brought the jeep up here because there is another pigeon up here, but we're not going to get it this episode. Um, get it next episode, I think. I'll just leave that there for now. Turn that off. Yeah, so, yeah, you can just about see it. It's up there, hiding in the tree. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a toss-up between the biogas one and that one this episode. So, so yeah, I'm going to put the chickens in here. Um, obviously when the cows arrive they'll be roaming around in here but there's a lot of free land here for the and this pasture is massive for the cows so I'm sure they'll have a they'll be okay with a little bit of space for the chickens as well so let's get this over in fact just thinking we won't be able to place it if these vehicles are here will we let's move this out of the way the the jeep out of the way. Just move it down here for now. Reverse it up. Okay. Right then. So up here. So let's uh, go into there. Build menu animals. Chickens. So yeah, the food farmer basic pastures pack. Five hundred. Uh, 5,000, sorry for this. Um, and I, Yeah, you can see the poles there and this will extend out into the woods there, which is quite cool. They'll just roam around doing their thing. So I think, yeah, somewhere about here. Let's find the cheapest option. That's 
pretty good, isn't it? Five five. Let's go for that. Yeah, it's as, as far across as I can dare to go. So I'll get that there, and yeah, I'll probably landscape this in off camera because we are running out of time on this episode. And then what we can do here is. Get rid of the poles and then tractor over and we'll buy some chick chicks. So I'm not afraid to use loans on this uh, series as well but at the moment it kind of makes sense just to do what we're doing because the pigeons are there on this map. I very rarely use uh, inverted commas cheaty things um, on games because yeah, I like to try and play fairly realistically. But Black Sheep Modern have put these pigeons in; they're quite cool. I really like uh, the fact that you got to find birds rather than uh, toys and things. But um, so this holds 450. So I'm going to put 200 in here just now. Well, I'll put 180 actually. So, and then I'm going to put in three roosters. That should be about right. There we go. So money's back down again, but we now have a bunch of chickens. I'll get some food in there. I imagine it'll take most of this. There we go, half. That's not too bad. Right. So, let's have a look. So, chicken coop, fine. Grain, fine. Productivity will kick in in a little bit. Nice. So we're getting there aren't we? We've got some animals. Um, uh, this is all working nicely and then down here canola wise what have we got? We've got 79 litres of canola already so that's pretty good. So like I said I'll landscape that in a little bit. Chickens are roaming about you can see them look um, all kicking about doing their thing. So I think we'll finish the episode there. I'll get this into the silo. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share a comment, you're more than welcome to. Go back to you as soon as I can. But from the Valley of the Old Farm and the Vintage Series, take care and we will see you again soon. All the best.